February 2022 is an important time, with several key titles finally releasing after extensive delays. Even if there is something for nearly everyone, the heaviest hitters will arguably set the tone of the rest of the year. So let's take a look at the 10 biggest games to look forward to in February. Dying Light 2 Stay Human First announced at E3 2018, time has done very little to dole enthusiasm for Dying Light 2 Stay Human. Set 20 years after the first game, civilization has pretty much collapsed and the city is the last major bastion against the virus. As Aiden Caldwell, players enter in search of their sister and become embroiled in the conflict between various factions while struggling to stave off the infection. Improved parkour mechanics and combat, a larger map with numerous areas to explore, and new infected enemies to contend with are just a few things one can look forward to. Be careful of who you trust and ally with, since those decisions can influence the fate of the city. Dying Light Tuesday Human releases on February 4th for PS4, PS5, PC, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox One. Sifu. Your master is dead, and it's up to you to avenge them. Sifu sees you embark through a series of locations, from an underground fighting ring to an art gallery, in order to defeat the five targets responsible. Along with various kung fu techniques and combos, you can use objects from the environment as weapons and take down foes with brutal efficiency. If you go down, a special talisman allows you to revive, but at the cost of aging you, which provides increased damage and the ability to unlock new techniques at the cost of your overall health. Can you progress through the entire game without succumbing to death? We'll find out when Sifu launches on February 8th for the PS4, PS5, and PC. Crossfire X Based on Smilegate's super popular free-to-play tactical shooter, Crossfire X tells the story of Global Risk and Blacklist, two PMCs constantly at odds. Developed by Remedy Entertainment with the Northlight engine, it offers two operations consisting of multiple missions with their own stories that expand on the universe and its characters. Multiplayer has also seen some upgrades with improved visuals, new maps, changes to the legendary mercenary system, and much more. All in all, Crossfire X may be worth checking out for its campaign and hanging around for the competitive aspect when it releases on February 10th for Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S, along with Xbox Game Pass. Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires Dynasty Warriors 9 had a rather mixed response since it attempted an open world structure and failed miserably in the process. Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires doesn't mess with its winning formula though. Smaller, separate stages are back, and there's a focus on castle sieges along with strategy and management. The affinity system also makes a return, with each character having assigned classes which determines the units that follow them. You can also choose to be a kind, benevolent ruler or go wild with tyranny, all backed by a character creation system that's akin to Neo 2. Releasing on February 15th worldwide, Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires will be available for PS4, PS5, and PC. The King of Fighters 15 The King of Fighters 15 looks to be everything that the series' fans could ever want. It offers 39 characters at launch from returning classics like Terry Bogard, Kiyo Kusanagi, and Iori Yagami to new additions like Isla, Cronin, and Dolores. Alongside a new story mode, there's a range of online multiplayer options from 1v1 and 3v3 modes to draft mode for banning certain characters on the opposing side. Hardcore fans will also get a kick out of their turn of trials, and there's an extensive amount of character art to unlock along with hundreds of songs to listen to from the entire series. The King of Fighters 15 releases on February 17th for PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Horizon Forbidden West The world is in danger once more. A strange plague called the Red Blight is laying waste to all plant and animal life. In order to learn the truth, Aloy ventures to the Forbidden West, which consists of the remains of California, Nevada, and Utah. New tribes await, along with several new dangerous machines like the Sunwing, Slitherfang, Rollerback, and Tremor Tusk. 
New tools like the shield wing for gliding and the pole caster for quickly grappling and launching off of surroundings to help even the odds. But there's also a new system for crafting and upgrading weapons at workbenches, an extensive new skill tree that caters to six play styles, Valor surges, and much more to look forward to. Horizon Forbidden West is out on February 18th for PS4 and PS5 and looks gorgeous. Destiny 2 The Witch Queen Sabathun has finally arrived in Destiny 2, and in the Witch Queen expansion, players must venture to her throne world, the High Coven, to hunt her down. Along with exploring swamps and her palace to unearth mysteries, one must also deal with a loosened brood, aka Hive Guardians, who wield light subclasses and supers. Fortunately, there's a new weapon crafting system, reworks of the Void subclasses to include aspects and fragments, and the new Glaive. New story missions and loot, a new power cap, a new six-player activity, and much more are coming on February 22nd for Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS4, PS5, PC, and Google Stadia, while The Witch Queen's Raid launches on March 5th. Elden Ring from Software's next magnum opus and winner of the Game Awards Most Anticipated Game Award for two years straight, Elden Ring is almost here. Releasing on February 25th for Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS4, PS5, and PC, it features the Souls-like combat we know and love, but with unbridled freedom to customize one's character with different abilities, spirits, and weapons. Though the main route can be completed in about 30 hours, the open world offers dozens of hours of gameplay, from world bosses like Aghil the Dragon to optional dungeons and secrets to uncover. In short, Elden Ring is a massive game that will keep one busy for months to come. Grid Legends the second major game from Codemasters following its acquisition by Electronic Arts, Grid Legends looks to be leaps and bounds above its 2019 reboot. It offers a new story mode driven to glory, with a deeper narrative focus revolving around the player's competitive battle against longtime antagonist Nathan McCain. In addition to over 130 tracks and more than 100 vehicles, from trucks to electric cars, there's also career mode, which offers hundreds of events and race creator for customizing and sharing your own races. Grid Legends releases on February 25th for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, and PC, and includes cross-platform play and free upgrades from previous to current-gen console owners. Evil Dead The Game Saber Interactive's co-op survival horror title based on the Evil Dead franchise doesn't have a solid release date just yet, but it's still slated for February. Characters like Kelly Maxwell, Scotty Lord Arthur, and Pablo Simon Bolivar are present alongside Ash Williams himself, with Bruce Campbell on board and providing some brand new dialogue. Along with exploring environments and locating items to stop the evil from entering the real world, players can also assume the role of a Kandarian demon or possess deadites and the survivors to slay the human side. With over 25 weapons and numerous skills to unlock, it promises to be a groovy time on Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS4, PS5, PC, and Nintendo Switch. So what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below, and if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.